G'day Cancer, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. I'm back. <laughs> well, I'm not back home, but I am back doing readings again, so yeah. Hope you all had a good um, break, good holiday, good holiday New Year's, Chrissy, everything. So back doing the love energy coming towards you as at now um wow I'm really out of practice here <laughs> um all the decks are pre-shuffled uh in case you're wondering all right let's go give me three cards for the love energy coming towards cancer please let's see what's going on whoa okay that one goes back. Oh. That was fast. <laughs> All right. Let's get these out. <sighs> yeah. So... Yeah, hope you all had a good holiday and everything. Holiday break. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards cancer, please. Clarify card number two. Oh, it's good to be back. Whoa, that's probably way too many, but we'll take them. And that one as well. Wow. Okay. We'll take them. <laughs> Card number three. Wow, I'm a bit out of practice with shuffling. <laughs> Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Wow, somebody who sees you as a soulmate, Cancer. With, ooh, Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Wands. They see you as a soulmate. They want a stable beginning here. They want to offer a stable beginning. But there's some, uh, but it's burdening them. It's a heavy load on their shoulders because they possibly haven't offered it yet. They want, to, they want to drop this burden of wanting to be your soulmate and offering this stability. It's weighing very heavily on them, is what I keep hearing. Weighing heavy on them. That they want this stable beginning with you. Ooh. It's heavy on their mind, I'm hearing. Mm, heavy on their mind. Doing, doing everything they can to be able to offer you this stable beginning because I'm hearing hard work as well okay forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments so what's this oh we've got lots of cards for this let's have a look queen of pentacles I'm going to put them down because there's too many <laughs> eight of swords King of Pentacles, ooh, so, yeah, this committed, stable connection here, we've got Pentacles again, is all they think about, this commitment between you two. I'm hearing stuck in the middle, I'm hearing that stuck in the middle with you. Giving and learning. Why is that? Thinking a lot. Yeah, very stuck in the, stuck in the middle with you. Very stuck in their head about what this long term commitment, stability, 
co stable commitment is with you. Something that they're learning, thinking a lot about it, releasing the past, experience more in the present moment. So they can't stop thinking about it. How they want this to be stable between you two. Oh, look at that. Four of Wands. Yeah, that's that stability. Six of Cups. And the Hangman. Yeah, something that was stable in the past left them hanging. That didn't go, didn't go anywhere. Something that was just stable passion. I'm hearing sticks, not stones. Like, that's, stones are more stable than sticks. Yeah. So they've learnt something. Seeing things from a different perspective on what they thought was stable in the past. And are looking for something much more stable. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Page of Wands. Ten of Cups. And the seven of, yeah, exactly, yeah. This is what they've learned. That a passionate beginning with someone and lots of flirting cheats you, cheats them out of a happy ever after. And that's why they're coming in with that stable beginning. They're, all they can think about is a stable grounded commitment here. Something that's based on passion, the stability of passion, and didn't go anywhere. And it just cheats, they know it. That flirting and the passion, like flirting and beginning with passion, is going to cheat them out of that happy ever after, long-term love. So, yeah, they're thinking a lot about that stability. They've learned from past, past relationships. <laughs> past life relationship. <laughs> You've known each other before. Hmm. Could be a past life. I think, I'm feeling that they feel like they, they already know, like, they don't know you, but they feel like you're someone that they've known forever, which is a past life. That's the feeling you normally get. Oh, look at that. Ace of Cups and Ace of Swords. Wow, you got all four Aces out. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. You've known each other before. I'm not feeling this is anything to do with the past, just that they feel like they already know you and they want to come in and offer that love and truth, truth and clarity with love. Because they feel they are, yeah. It's not to say that they don't want passion in the relationship, but the stability is important. And they feel this love and truth with you because of this past life connection. Okay. So we've got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I'm hearing that they've really enjoyed this time, any time they've spent with you, the time they spent with you, even though it was temporary, possibly over the holiday period. They've met you. Or over this holiday period. I mean, we're still in holiday mode in a way. Yeah. And they've been thinking about you a lot. Visualising something with you. Going to be very respectful here in the way that they show their romantic feelings to you. But they definitely have these feelings for you. Wow. Wow. All right, what's at the bottom of this one? Ooh, Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Five of Pentacles. Mm. 
Yeah, they want to make this, yeah, this is the burden here. They want to make this offer to you and come in and offer you actions of stability. They want to make this offer to you. I'm also hearing, but they haven't moved on it yet because they're afraid they're going to be left out in the cold. Ah. There is that fear that you'll leave them out in the cold, that, yeah, you won't be interested. So they possibly haven't made a move yet. But you're all they think about. And they feel like they already know you. They're, yeah, they already have this love and feel clarity and truth and honesty between you two. They feel trust. They can trust you, even though the trust card doesn't come out. All right. Mm. So they've learned not to go with the wand action and flirting straight up because it, yeah, cheats them out of that happy ever after. All right. Let's get three more cards for the love energy coming towards cancer, please. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> It's been a while, <laughs> hasn't it? <laughs> One more, please. Oh, that one goes back. It's this one. And clarify it. Look at that. Ten of Cups is under the deck. Wow. Okay, clarify card number one. Card number two. And card number three. Do you need to release waning moon or warning moon? I never know how to say that. <laughs> okay, so what do they need to release? Ah, waiting. <laughs> yeah, we saw that, didn't we? Waiting, waiting for the ships to come in. I think they know they need to stop waiting and make a move. Because if they wait, look. That tiny little ship, you probably can't see it. I think it's going that... I feel it's going that way. That might pass them by. So they need to release that waiting. Because it's heavy on them. Yeah, they want... They, they know they need to stop waiting. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Yeah, I chose the moon cards because we had a full moon the other night. Okay. Ooh, five of cups. The lovers and the five of swords. Ooh, two fives. Confidence is your key to success. <sighs> if they come in too confidently, they might disappoint you. You may not choose them. And they may sabotage things. May sabotage things. But <clears throat> they also need to be confident and stop waiting and actually make this move. If they're trying to be confident. It's really windy here today, so any of these noises that you're hearing in the background of the, is the wind blowing things around outside. They're trying to be confident, but they're worried that, that this is just going to, yeah, they're going to end up disappointed here. I keep hearing that you may not choose them, because this is a choice card with the lovers. But 
that this is just a mind trick, that they just, mm, self-sabotage. I think they want to come in confident, but they're worried that their confidence will, they'll end up disappointed. End up, I, I'm hearing regret. They'll end up regretting it because there's a con. They want this connection here, but they don't want to sabotage it. Mm. Which I think is why they're waiting. But the, they need to be more confident about themselves and come in and. Mm. Yeah, because if they don't have the confidence and make that choice to come in and say something, they're going to be disappointed because they're self-sabotaging by not doing anything. All right, let's see what this one is. A new start is coming, new moon. Wow. Let's have a look. The Hermit. They know. Seven of Swords again. And the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, the new start is coming. I'm hearing if they keep to themselves, they're going to cheat themselves out of this relationship. They need to start doing that work. The new start is, yeah, start a new, get to work, get to working on this. Do it, do it buddy, do it and do it mate. Because, yeah, stay in, yeah, because the new start is coming. And if they don't do anything, they're going to cheat themselves out of this. They need to get to working on their confidence and releasing this waiting and come straight up and make the offer. All right. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node, which I don't think they are. I see, They see prosperity with you in the future, and they're not letting that past hold them back. They've learnt their lessons. Time to give rather than take. Your hard work is paying off. See, if they put in that work to give, rather, I'm hearing rather than take their time, Give in to the fear and make the offer. The hard work is going to pay off. You're not the person from their past that, you know, didn't work out with. There's pro they see prosperity here. They're, I think the past is holding them back a little bit, but bottom of this deck. The Empress, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles... And the Nine of Wands, yeah, yeah. See, they want this to grow. They see this as a very prosperous, beautiful, loving relationship. She's all four queens in one, and all the queens are loving. So a love that can grow, a relationship that can grow. And they want to charge in full pal, Knight of Swords, and tell you this truth. But they're umming and erring and going back and forth. and uh, now, uh, Because there's possibly still some wounding. I think it's, I don't think it's wounding. I think they're a bit guarded. I'm hearing shy and guarded. But they haven't given up. Then They haven't given up. They're not giving up. Again, I'm, I'm feeling this, it's, they've just got to get that courage. They know they've got to release this and stop waiting. Because you're going to just float on by. They're going to miss out on you if they wait too long. They'll sabotage it if they don't get their confidence up enough to approach this. It's their choice, though. All right, let's see what they would like to say.
Give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Cancer, please. It's just annoying me. <laughs> what would they like to say to Cancer? It's two. At least one more, please. Ooh, okay. Whoa. Alright, so we got that one, then that, then them two, and then this flipper. Okay, let's have a look what they want to say. I feel safe with you. I think they just feel so comfortable with you. Like I said, they feel like they've already known you forever. But this is someone, this is new. It's new. It's all the aces. It's new. But they feel like they already know you. And so that's why they feel so comfortable with you. I'm always thinking about you. Yep, see? <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> Eight of swords. They're always thinking about you and a connection with you. I don't know what you see in me. This is that doubt and this is why they're waiting. And this is what could sabotage things because they don't think you're going to... They, yeah, they're doubting themselves. Oh, cancers, oh, what would cancer see in me? Oh, no, they're not going to be interested. But mm -hmm. I'm going crazy without you. Yeah, they are. This is driving them crazy. It is. It's driving them crazy. <laughs> they know they just have to stop waiting and just come. I look at your pictures a lot. Yeah, they do. They're all, they're, um, yeah, they're checking you out. <laughs> and they're fantasizing about a future with you and, yeah. I want you back. Um, it's just I want you, but I think from the moment they saw you, they want, they want, yeah, they want to come back to you again. They want, they just want to be with you. I bury myself in work to forget you. No, they are... Could be they... They're... I'm getting a few things. They're working on stopping that waiting and getting that courage up to come and approach you. They are working on that. But they are also... They've got a fear of their rejection. So they're, as much as they're always thinking about you, they're trying to distract themselves from thinking about it because there is that fear of that rejection. So they throw themselves into their work. But they know that, yeah, if they don't start working on coming this new beginning, they'll miss out on it. All right, what's at the bottom? I am not over you. It was hard for me to let you go. Please don't give up on me, and I have always loved you. Okay. Okay, I'm hearing they don't want us to be over. It's hard for them to stop thinking about you. They're hoping that you don't give up, you know, that you don't just move on to somebody else because, yeah. And they, they do feel that they've always loved you. Like they've loved you from a previous lifetime. But they're really hoping you don't go, mm, oh, I met that person and... They were really nice and, oh, well, I haven't heard from them. I guess they're not interested. <laughs> I'll meet them, meet somebody else. They're really worried that's going to happen. They don't want you to give up on them. They're just trying to build that courage to come forward. And look, we've got a new dawn. So, all right, let's get a message for you, Cancer. What does the universe want to tell Cancer? be something 
in general for you. So you've got, you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. Okay. So whatever it is you're working on. Things are going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. So don't think nothing's happening because it's all happening. And accept heaven's help. You got heaven here twice. Well, the universe. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Okay. <laughs> so something that you wanted help with. You need to get out of the way. Because things are going on behind the scenes. So don't block it by thinking it's not going to happen. And da da da. And oh, you know, I wanted help with this. And it's just not happening. Because it is. It's going on behind the scenes. You just don't see it. So don't block it by thinking it's not going to happen. Alright. And we'll go one card at the bottom. Pay attention. <laughs> Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance. As this can yield valuable information. Okay, so to me it's like, mm, perhaps you're not realising it's, pay, you're not paying attention to the fact that this things are happening. Perhaps if you look a bit closer you'll see that things are happening. Hmm... And if it is in regards to this, well, guess what? <laughs> the universe is getting this person organised to um, get that courage up to come towards you. But I'm feeling this is more something that you, for yourself... Mm. Yeah, it's getting done behind the scenes. Things are getting set up and put in place so that... It, will happen for you. All right. Well, that's your reading, Cancer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and be nice in the comments. <laughs> and thanks for watching. All right. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.